bagels with us and get to learn a little bit from Matthew Lewis, the attorney we have visiting today. Um, I'm excited to hear what he has to say about business because we all know there's so many things that we do in our daily businesses, but the attorney part, that one gets kind of pushed to the back, <laughs> you know? So we're, we're here now to leave it to the specialist, which is great. Um, I can't wait to hear from Matt. Janet's gonna come up and give a short introduction about school. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be very short. <laughs> I, um, I want uh, to apologize because um, I'm taking Jan Boy's place today, this morning. And boy, those are big shoes to fill. If you all know Jan Boy, she, she's just tremendous. She has brought score up. Uh, uh, that I have seen her work day and night, just so we have our name out, our branding out, so people know. Uh, my name is Janet Sanders. I'm a counselor at SCORE, and I have been a counselor for about 25 years. Janet's got me beat. She's been about 30 years. We have two other counselors here, Steve and, and Ray, and uh, so if you need some help, they will help you. SCORE has been around for a long time, over 50 years. We've been at the university. We uh, have a founding member, a charter member, founding member, on our on our board on our list of membership, and that's Dr. Terry Diedrich. And he was instrumental in bringing SCORE to Yonsef State University, and we have been there over 50 years. We're on the campus, we're open every day, Monday through Friday. We take appointments, nine o'clock, 10 o'clock, you call for an appointment, and we'll help you either start your business, or if you have an established business, we'll help you with particular uh, items that you need help with, marketing, advertising, finance, and things like that. So, or two, she has been the energy bucket that we need at that mm -hmm. time. Yeah. So we are always looking for somebody to help us or to look for help. So thank you very much for coming. Thank you, Janet. You did an awesome job. Oh, and I listen every time because I am a score mentor in learning. So I do appreciate um, every time I get to hear that presentation. Um, I now, without further ado, I'm gonna let Matthew come up and start telling to have some kind of a business entity, like an LLC or a corporation. They're essentially the same thing, but what it is is it's protecting your personal stuff from your, your business activities. Uh, if you have a hair salon and you actually cut someone's ear, or someone steps and falls as they walk in, you know, or you didn't ice your, your steps right away in, in, in the winter time, whatever it could be, your business might be. If somebody gets hurt, they feel they've been jaded in some way, or you're, you have a, a pet grooming business and you accidentally, you know, hurt the, hurt the animal, or you don't quite do the best job they want, they can sue you. And if you're just a sole proprietor, meaning you don't have any type of separate business entity. And that doesn't mean it's a registered trade name. You can register a trade name, but not be a business entity. You need to have a separate tax ID number, possibly, definitely a separate business entity. If somebody gets hurt, or they're somehow upset about what your services are doing, they can sue you. And if you're not protected by having that separate entity, their lawsuit will peer through your personal car, your personal bank account, your personal home. If you're married, it's all put together. So that's really the meat and potatoes of my, my talk today, is having the importance of having a separate business entity.